What's the birth story? I haven't heard it yet. Okay, you cannot get the birth story. Yes, I can. Like yes, I can. So I'm gonna cross out the part as, as you reflect on where you've been because she was just born. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna, and what's still to come. <laughs> It's gonna be what's still <laughs> Hello. Can you close these up for me? Yeah. yeah. Oh wait, yeah. no, no, no. Sorry, oh, sure. I forgot we don't have helium. So apparently, we don't have helium. But what, what party city doesn't have helium? So it looks like we gonna be blowing up balloons in the park. Up balloons. Up balloons. You. Earn everything. Upland. You earn own. E you own everything. <laughs> oh, look at it. Yeah, get it. Get the roses one. It goes with our theme. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Why is all baby stuff so cute? Oh look, look at the back. Oh my god, it's so cute. Number five, please. What even is it? Is it a llama? Can I no. Thirteen is younger than me. Shut up. Oh, this is cute. Oh, I know. I know little roses. Our niece was just born yesterday. Uh, so. Are you gonna go take pictures? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. That was so funny. The ladies in Home Goods just asked me if I was a YouTuber, and I said no, because I'm not. I'm a filmmaker. <laughs> You don't understand me, mom. <laughs> no. They were like, subscribe. yeah, they were like, like and subscribe. Oh man, they were cool. That was really funny. Hi, girls. Hi, girls. I'm just carrying all this crap. <laughs> Dude, the baby. Yeah. Oh. We brought crap. <laughs> we brought crap. And we also brought you a nice tea. Oh, you oh. do love me. She's so blue. She's already. Scratched her face so oh, no. Oh, no. oh no, we gotta get the little mitt. And, uh, oh no. I'll open this. Okay. Yeah. Are you kidding? Oh, oh there's a ribbon in there. Thank you. Bye, Bye. 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 That's your kitty? Yeah. What do you have, Kai? My balloon. A balloon. <laughs> No way! Ketchup. What's your baby sister's name? Ketchup. Ketchup? What's the other name? Hot dog! Hot dog! Can you Ketchup. say Kenna? Kenna. Kenna. And what's your name, Judy? No, it's Kaya Jones. It's Kaya Jones. And what's baby sister's name? Ken her name is not Hot Dog. Can you say Kenna Jones? No. Kelly? No, what's your baby sister's name? Uh, Hannah. Do you like the name Kenna? No, Ketchup. She wants it to be named Ketchup. Okay, we'll call her Ketchup Joan. <laughs> oh, goodness. It's okay. What is that? It's not a horse fish. It's just a horse fish. Why doesn't it have back legs? Because it's a fish. Why couldn't they just do a horse fish? I don't know, man. That's what I'm You got them? Yeah. Here you go. Thank you. We took a, we had a little photo shoot. We had a bop a little moment over here. Kaylee's visiting us. These girls in good home goods. Yeah, that's what it is. Not Goodwill. Home goods. They were like, are you a YouTuber? And I was like, not really. <laughs> no, I don't. I hate the word, though. I don't like the word YouTuber. Because when you say YouTuber, then it, like, it. people think of Logan Paul and, like, nasty people. And I don't want to be like that. No, they said that, too, and that's nastier. I don't like that word. I hate that, though. I like it. I don't like the word. what you are. You can't just... I refuse. I don't claim. I don't claim that word. A filmmaker. A filmmaker. Are you, they're not gonna say. Are you a filmmaker? Yeah, they're not. But I'm gonna say no. But I am a filmmaker. <laughs> they're gonna say, Are you a YouTuber? <laughs> no, Beach. I'm a filmmaker. I make films and I put them on YouTube. Basically, yeah. I like that. 
I'm okay with that verbiage. You should say that. No, but I make, I kind of did. I was like, I make videos and I put them on YouTube. Does that make me a YouTuber? I take videos with my Okay, that is exactly what you do. So you are a I'm a filmmaker! My, I'm they both like... look like you, so it doesn't matter. They're so cute. Yeah, Kaya had some hair. She did. Not maybe that it much. This might not have been as dark. Why? Wow. Yeah. I don't know. So then you couldn't really tell she had hair. Yeah, it's blonde. What's the birth story? I haven't heard it yet. Okay, you cannot get the birth story. Yes, I can. Okay, well, we went there at... 7.45, Dr. Engine told us to get there. Mm -hmm. We were driving, we got a call saying, um, are you guys coming? You were supposed to be here at 7. 7? That yes. ain't right. So, we were late, and they said, well, we can still do it. I'm like, well, duh. We got in. <laughs> Nothing happened. Got hooked up to everything. And the lady, our nurse was orienting another nurse, so it took like triple as long because You she plug had to in this tube and- Explain everything. <sighs> So like with Kaya, we got there and got hooked up like in 20 minutes. This time, we got there at 7.45. I was not on Pitocin, which is what they give you to start your um, stuff, your until 9.30. That's ridiculous. So we were already oh, so late. <laughs> the nurse said she was orienting um, Clex Caterpillars. <laughs> and her daughter's name is Primrose, and she's a vegan. Oh and, my god. Um, it was very That sounds like a strange. nightmare. <laughs> Casey was entertained, I think, by the by all of awkwardness that. Yeah. of them. Then, okay, so I, I had an IV in my arm. Did I send any of you guys the pictures? No, I don't. I hate that. It came out of my vein and was just pumping the Pitocin and solution into my arm. No. My arm was so big and my hand turned purple and my like wrist was still, so my hand and wrist were still small. The whole rest of my arm no. was like this big around. No. Swollen, and they had to like stop the medicine and <sighs> take my IV out. And then my arm is still probably swollen. No. And start an IV in this arm. Um, That's so nasty. Start over. <laughs> that is terrible. And then, yeah, shortly after that, then I started feeling contractions. So it was probably because it was... In your blood. into my arm and not into my bloodstream. Uh, that's nasty. So all my drugs were just in my fat arm. <laughs> so then I couldn't like bend my arm to touch my face or anything. I couldn't move my arm for like all night. That is awful. So contraction started at like 4.30 like bad and I just dealt with them until... Hey, don't rush this time. I'm sorry. So 8.45, finally the doctor came in for the epidural. So I got up, was sitting to get the epidural and having terrible, terrible, terrible contractions. And as I was like bent over the little table, cause they like have to, you have to be still and set your back out all while you're having like very painful contractions. And then. Yeah, cause you could get paralyzed if you move. Yes, I was just sitting there against the table and then whoosh, and <laughs> stuff was running down my legs and I couldn't move cause he was about to stick a thing in my back. And the nurses were like trying to clean me up while not having me move and yeah. But the point I was getting, my water broke right after my epidural. She was waiting so it didn't hurt as bad. But then that didn't have to happen. Which I was glad because it's like this long stick with a little hook on the end. No. You stick it up there and pull. Pop your water. No. And sometimes oh, they God. can scratch the baby's head because it's right there. That's not super sharp. It's like a crochet needle, they kept saying. But anyway, yes, after the epidural, then baby's heart rate dropped, I guess. So everyone was running around. A bunch of nurses came in the room. Casey was kind of freaking out because he didn't know what was going on. And he's like, do, do I need to leave? And I was just in La La Land because I just got my epidural. And it was amazing. <laughs> they kept like turning me over and turning me over and trying to get her heartbeat. Then they finally got that back to normal. And then... We hung out, and then I was fully dilated, and I pushed for five minutes, and she was there. Did it hurt at all? No, because I couldn't feel anything. Yeah, it's like... Is it weird not feeling in your body? Yes. It's like your legs? But it's amazing. Okay. As soon as you can't feel the contractions anymore, it's You're like just like, yay! The most amazing thing ever. Does the epidural yeah, hurt? I'm like, oh, I could just be pregnant my whole life. <laughs> yeah, like, why, why don't they just give you this immediately? <laughs> they should, and you could ask for it, but it wears off, so you don't want to risk, like... It wearing off. Yeah. Especially because it took you a whole day. Yes. 
and of her anyways. Because I asked earlier, like, would now be a bad time getting an epidural? She's like, well, you're one centimeter dilated, so probably because... It's going to wear off. <laughs> nine centimeters to go. Yeah. Does the inducing make your water break? Sort of. After you induce the contractions, like... Make it happen. So the Pitocin does makes your contractions happen. And the contractions, like, to generally pop your water. But they said they've had people that get to 10 centimeters and their water still hasn't broke. But then it breaks and then baby pretty much just... just like slides, slides out with the, with the water. <laughs> So, and they told me one lady got there and had her baby within 15 minutes. I was born in 28 like, minutes. Don't Some are like tell me so that right. because that is not my story. Mm -hmm. Darn it. But yes, and then we had her and it was wonderful. Mm -hmm. Casey cut the cord. He didn't want to. Oh, and he was. they wanted Casey to hold one of my legs because I just had my nurse and Dr. Anginen. So, but he was not about that. So they had to have another nurse come in and hold my other leg. They didn't have stirrups? They do, but your stirrups are still ahead, so they still push uh, your legs back. Oh. Yes. That's a so nightmare. He, I don't see him getting, like, down and dirty in the whole birthing process. Yeah, he said if I have to, I will, but he was happy another nurse came in and held my leg. Mm. Yeah, and that's so that. So cut the cord, and you held her first? Yeah. Or did she have to go anywhere? No, they didn't take her out of my arms and weigh her until, like, at least two hours. Yay! She already, like, ate and nursed and was hanging out. They cleaned her up and everything, and then you got her, and bam. They cleaned her up while they, she was on me. Oh, my goodness. I feel like that's how So Ella they was. never took her away from me until, like, I finally... Was like, okay, she are you guys... Done eating and, yeah. Are you guys going to take her? Or <laughs> yeah, because I want to know how long she was and how much she weighed and stuff, but they were in no hurry to do that. 12 hours later, that's crazy. Or not 10, 10 hours. Yeah. Still, that's a long time. I don't remember how far along I got. Some people are in labor for like 36 hours. Yeah. Insane. Well, and with Kaya, like, I pushed for like two hours and you move positions and you do all sorts of stuff. But this one, seriously, I pushed five minutes. It's totally different with the second one than with the first. So your body already knows what to do, so you don't have to do all that extra stuff. Yeah. What are you doing, baby girl? Okay. She's all about games and Play-Dohs nowadays. Where did you find the name Ka Kenna? I just liked I just it. it. I heard it a long time I ago. I think I had a Kenna in my class or something. I like Kenna. I like Kenna. You, you like, like Kenna? Yeah. I like Kenna. Do you guys like it or no? I like, I like it. Kenna. I like Kenna. Kenna. And people are asking me, Aunt Kina thinks, I think she thinks it's Kina. Is it Kina like my mom? I said, no, it's Ken. Hi, uh. you're so sweet. Can you see her? Oh, she just gave her a kiss. They're definitely not mine because I have short, fat fingernail beds. I like Chloe's. Chloe, is this your child? Yep. <laughs> That's how that works. So you have short, fat nail beds like I do. I have short, fat fingers. Okay. <gasps> oh, goodbye, baby. I love you. Oh, well, goodbye. I love you. Can you hug me? You guys feel better. No problem. <laughs> she loves me more. <laughs>